Mathematical happiness. So what is it? In my view, mathematical happiness is the ability to learn new math for fun. So you may say, how do you do that? How do you learn math for fun? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how. I'm gonna tell you how you can actually achieve mathematical happiness. And this is gonna sound completely ridiculous, but this is something that I actually do. I practice this all the time. This is why I have so many books back here. So tomorrow or today, pick a time and look at the time on your, on your watch or your clock or whatever. Say it's 9 a.m. Pick up a book you wanna read, sit down, and give yourself 30 minutes, not, not 10, not 15, not an hour. Don't overdo it, but don't underdo it. I think 30 minutes is a good time. Pick a section and start reading it. It doesn't have to be the beginning of the book. You can start by reading the beginning. It might be motivating to read like the, the preface and you know the motivation for the book, all that stuff. But take 30 minutes and sit there and read and see how much you can get out of it. After those 30 minutes, I want you to look back and ask yourself, think about this video and ask yourself, what did I learn? Did I learn anything? Was, was this guy right? Is he right? Did I learn something? And I bet you, I bet you the answer is going to be yes. The key to this, okay, the key to this is to read the book without having a piece of paper or a pencil. You might say, whoa, you can't read a math book without a paper and a pencil. Yes, you can, right? You just have to commit to recognizing that you will not understand everything. And it is okay not to understand. That's not what this video is about. It's not about reading a math book and dissecting it line by line. It's about achieving mathematical happiness, the ability to sit down with a math book and read it for pleasure. And even if you don't understand, it's okay, it's normal. In fact, I would be shocked if you, if you picked up a book on advanced math and you read it for 30 minutes and you understood all of it. It's probably not gonna happen. You're probably gonna, even if it's just a basic calculus book, you might get to a step in an example where you're like, um, how do they go from here to here? Oh, I need a pencil. Don't worry about it. Just keep reading. Remember, you're reading for entertainment. You're reading for learning and just for absorption. And this is how you achieve mathematical happiness. So if you do this every day with, with a different book or with the same book, the key the key to being consistent with this is to every time you do this, you should time it. And every time you do this, you should tell yourself that you're not going to understand everything, okay? Because what happens is if you try to understand everything, what happens is you become frustrated and then it just creates more work. You probably already have a lot of work. You probably are already taking math classes. So you probably actually have math that you have to do for like a grade. Probably thinking, well, I don't have time to read another math book. What's this guy talking about, right? I got to take a test on Friday or something, right? So it's got to be for enjoyment. So you want to do what I like to call casual reading. And through casual reading, you can achieve mathematical happiness. Good luck.